With the new sails installed and a giant burger in the stomach, last week we set sail to Nui in some rather wet weather. today we're day four into the trip and we're coming up to a little reef called beverage reef it's just a speck in the middle of the ocean about 200 nautical miles out of Niue. 120 120 sorry um, so yeah we figured out that we would get there tonight at about 2 a.m. which we don't want to do we'd really like to stop there for the night if the weather's calm enough so we've slowed down the boat as much as we can and we're sort of gonna zigzag and hopefully uh, arrive in the morning get there tomorrow morning yeah Yeah, it looks beautiful like crystal blue waters and... yeah we've had a look at some of the photos here on this compendium and it looks amazing so pretty keen to get there hopefully the weather holds out it's pretty calm now but if it gets over 15 knots, particularly 20 knots and above, it uh, can get quite uncomfortable because it's just a ring of reef and the waves can actually get over the top. But at low tide or in calm weather, it's, it's quite good. So we'll have a look at it tomorrow morning and uh, see if we can anchor. We've we slowed down, so we better go there. Yeah, someone says here that it was like the best snorkeling they've ever done. Good timing. Yeah. I like that. Oh, can you watch this tomato? Oh, no. Just making some lunch in these beautiful conditions. Look at that. Tomato doesn't even move at all. Bonjour, people of France and the Marquis. We all spent our morning absorbing some much needed vitamin D with only a day left before we arrived to Beverage Reef. Don't! 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 If you put that anywhere near me, I'm gonna kill you! Holly, don't! Please don't! Don't! Coconut oil, lime, soy, garlic, and sesame seed oil, and some fried eggs on top. What do you reckon? Oh, you haven't eaten it yet. I'm sorry. Well, I haven't eaten it yet. I always do this to you. I'm going to assume that it's pretty nice. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's about five in the morning, and we're only 12 nautical miles away from Beverage Reef. Had a really nice sail last night so so calm and all of us got a few hours sleep julian got about 10. um yeah really looking forward to cruising into beverage hopefully finding a nice sandy bottom to anchor in and if these weather conditions keep then we should be able to stay the night which would be like really cool because we are in the middle of nowhere Hopefully spear some fish. We'll see how we go. Mightn't be able to stop at all, you know. We just need to go check it out when the sun comes up. It's been a good morning by myself. Sun should be up very soon. My favourite part of the day. It's only two nautical miles off and I can't see land at all. So yeah, I can hear birds, which means there must be land around, but yeah, it's, I'm a little bit on edge. <laughs> Just hoping to see something and I'll wake Riley up. I kept a watchful eye on the horizon to spot anything that looked like reef. We would once again be going into uncharted water and then I spotted some breakwater. All we had to do was get closer and find the pass to the inside. She's a pretty sad looking lure, but Hopefully we get some. 
Nice little wahoo. Be good. We learned the hard way in the Gibraltar Strait with tuna that you have to bleed them or they don't taste very nice. So I cut their heads off and dragged them behind the boat for a little bit. Did it get it? Yeah, I just got rope burn. Shit. That thing up. That was two. That was like five. So we both forgot to pull in the tuna as we we're going through the pass, just because you know we're navigating. This is uncharted. It's a bit, it's a bit scary. And I had a splash turn around, and there are five sharks going for our tuna. And we didn't manage to pick up the camera in time, but basically, no more tuna. I'm equally as devastated as Riley right now. <laughs> so dumb, so dumb. Should have pulled it in. As we arrived at Beverage Reef with only one other yacht in sight, I was wondering to myself how many people might have visited this extremely remote location. Water this was excellent. Unfortunately, at high tide, the waves would crash over the reef and cause pretty uncomfortable conditions. Captain's asleep, if you can believe it, with all this noise. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if when he woke up, he'd want to pull up the anchor and set sail to Niue because it's pretty uncomfortable here. We came in here in the hopes of a break to relax, swim, but it's pretty awful if you ask me. Wouldn't be too phased if that's what he decided to do, but I'll keep you posted. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, after a bit of a rocky start here, it's uh, glassed out a bit, which is nice. I just added up before, I was awake for 19 hours yesterday until three o'clock in the morning as we were approaching Beverage Reef. So I jumped into bed for a bit of a well-earned rest. Even though it was rocking around a bit, I uh, managed to get some sleep. So I've arose to find glassy calm water, lapis lazuli in color, and this is a very, very nice location. I'm, I feel blessed. So I'm just gonna have myself a little beer. I think uh, Jules is gonna knock up a bit of dinner and Elena's gonna do a bit of editing. So, happy little camp is on board La Vagabond. we didn't escape the bad weather for long. In the morning, we woke up to some more rain. Nevertheless, the tide was low and conditions were great for getting some work done. Can you believe it? Look at all this hard work going on in La Vagabond. I've done this joke before, and has. <laughs> it's quite incredible stuff. Despite the inclement weather conditions, I was sent out by Her Highnessness to go and get us a fish for dinner.
so we've perfect. got a curry for dinner tonight it's about all we have left on the boat and one thank god <laughs> leaving tomorrow to new way have free party yeah, go through it again. What do you think? Excellent. A bit hot, Elena. <clears throat> I just went to blow my nose and breathe in a seed of chili that was on the table, and I don't know what to do. What do I do? Do I put milk up my nose? Yeah. Yeah, just, just up here. Definitely. It's called a bamboozle, but not not normal milk. We need almond milk. Mm. Close your eyes. Oh, get some toothpaste. Close your there. eyes. And a sniff it. Just it's like a big stick. Like. Put a little it's not the smell, it's actually on my skin. Like It's like... Yeah, but it'll soothe it. Sniff it. You it's... guys are pulling my no, legs, no, no, so cause... I put toothpaste you know... on my nose and I look really No, 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 Inside here. <laughs> be, nah, that will help. I don't trust you. Nah, nah. <laughs> you get it more higher, higher, deep, deeper this is though. Higher than going. Is that better? Yeah, it's, it's better. It's like a yeah. Oh, still burns. I don't know if that helped, guys. It's burning even more. Next week, I fly a helicopter into my face, and fortunately for me, given the amount of shtick I copped about the whole bleeding the tuna out the back gets eaten by sharks incident, I managed to catch another yellowfin tuna on our way to Niue.